Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12 YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for sure. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you guys. I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which it educates, inspires, and entertains all at once. So again, if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, be sure before you leave to hit that subscribe button. Definitely happy to have you guys. If this is your second or third time, welcome back. Uh, today is Tuesday, the second week in February. So on Tuesdays, you guys know we do our social awareness content here in Difference World YouTube. And so today, uh, because it's Black History Month, this one's gonna be dedicated to uh, the culture and, and telling of our mental health and mental wellness checks. And so uh, with this vlog, it's all of, gonna be all about uh, spreading social awareness in regards to mental health wellness in the black community or the culture, if you will. And so uh, getting right into it, you guys, um, I usually started off with some facts, but I don't, I don't want to, you know, just always have the facts for you guys. I just like to speak from perspective of, of being, you know, a black woman growing up in America and um, recently uh, been on a journey to getting my mental health in check and keeping it on the right track. Um, as those who have been following my journey or looking at my vlogs uh, would know that at times uh, I do suffer from depression and you know mental anguish you know dealing with the death of my mother and other family members that I've lost in 2021 it's just that my mother it death hit me the hardest she died in my arms the day after Christmas in 2021 um, I spent the whole 2022 uh, mourning her and uh, grieving healthy grieving I like to call it, you know, talking with my therapist, doing activities, you know, processing my grief and making sure that, you know, uh, I don't die with her, but yet still keep her memory alive. Um, and so sharing my testimony uh, with you guys, I want to encourage and help motivate and hopefully inspire other black people out there that are going through any type of, you know, mental anguish. Uh, be it grief, depression, you know, anxiety, feeling suicidal, you know, even, you know, in the teens, you know, black teens, you know, dealing with bullying, peer pressure, uh, even in the LGBTQ community, uh, those that are going through any type of mental anguish, you know, today, you know, I want to sit here and today advocate with you guys and encourage you guys to, you know, get out of that psychological box that you guys have been stuck in, take control of, the, of your reins and, you know, remind you guys that you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate it or when it's time to sink it. Uh, and so uh, with that being said, you guys, I encourage everybody out there, not just with black people, but like I said, because, you know, it's our month. <laughs> so I'm going to represent and hold it down and, and push and advocate for, you know, mental health wellness, not just with that, you know, self-love and self-care and taking care of ourselves from the inside out. Um, that goes into getting your mental health in check, you know, be it starting to eat right, eating healthy, getting rid of all those greasy foods that's, you know, high in cholesterol and sodium and fats, and just start eating places with, you know, greens and vegetables and just eating right um, and exercising. And uh, also, like I said, with the mental, you know, getting in check, keeping it in check, it goes into, for me, you know, with prayers and meditation. Um, I've been trying to be consistent with it now. It is hard for me at times. Let me be real with you guys. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat anything. Um, but my morning meditations is hard for me to keep up with because I don't wake up on time every morning. And so, um, but that is a part of my mental health strategy and keeping it uh, my wellness in check is with morning meditations, you know, spiritually, you know, reading the Bible, talking to God. Uh, you know, physically going to the gym, uh, being active, not you know, making sure I don't sleep all day. That was the issue that I had in the past is, you know, sleeping all day, you know, not realizing that's a part of depression. Um, I also, you know, do my research, you know, like I, I share my, uh, mental health resources all the time, but I also do my own research and find what's worked for me, what, what doesn't, you know, picking up new habits and hobbies, going out and volunteering, things like that. Uh, seems to be helping me and so I would encourage you guys to you know try and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you so, like, at the end of the day nothing beats a failure but a try and so uh, if you don't make it at least you try right um, 
uh, with that being said, you guys, I'm stopping right here. I just thought about it. I do have a dope video I want to share with you guys. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's from uh, a company called Independence. It talks about, you know, things that, you know, we can do in our community uh, to help with our mental health, including with self-care. And so take a look at it. Once we come back on, I'll give you guys some more information on what's going on in different world. Yep, here it is. Black people have experienced a really unusual degree of stress, especially during this time. Not only are we three times more likely to die of COVID, we've also dealt with racial injustice and inequality as we have been for many years, but many of those issues seem to be coming to a head right now in this moment. We need to take specific steps to make sure we're caring for our mental and physical well-being. We have to support each other. We, we need to make sure that we are connected, we are staying engaged with our close family members and friends so that we can check on each other and make sure we're doing okay and have outlets to discuss our feelings related to many of the things that are happening now. It's also important that we continue to move our bodies so that we can be physically and mentally healthy. As the winter months fall upon us, it'll be darker and colder, but it'll still be a good time to get out get moving, take a walk in the brisk air. It's also a great time to connect with online and in-home fitness routines. There is a ton of resources on YouTube that you can access, everything from yoga to African dance to Pilates to kickboxing, all kinds of things that you can do from the comfort of your home. Last but not least, this is a great time to connect with a therapist. You can contact your insurance company and get information about a provider who is in network with your insurance, which will reduce your out-of-pocket costs. There are also online therapy resources that are easy to access. You just want to make sure that you are working with a licensed mental health professional. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that uh, inform informative video as much as I did. It touched on a lot of great topics, including, you know, uh, getting, you know, good night's sleep, eating right, exercising, uh, things that, you know, we need to do when it comes to getting our mental health in check and keeping it in check. A lot of the times, um, if you look at, you know, our background and our history in the black community, you can ask, where does you know our mental health anguish? Where does it come from? Uh, if you look back at it, a lot of it stems from the racial injustice and hardship that we have faced in America. You know, not 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 to mention you know the things that you know we have gone to in our community. Um, I hate to use that word institutionalized, but uh, to being told and just being real, you know, a lot of us you know black people are institutionalized and you know don't realize that, and so. Um, breaking yourself or it's going to take you know willpower to break yourselves from those that type of you know psychological box and mental chains and mental bondage excuse me but you know you can't do it you know look at me for the longest you know I couldn't figure out you know what was it you know why bad things kept happening well not necessarily bad things but things that wasn't going my way or you know God feel like he should bless me in the way that he should you know why wasn't it happening any sooner and it took me you know looking at you know myself in the mirror and facing that ugly truth that I had to get my mental health in check before I can do and accomplish any other thing and so once I started to do that you know doors started to open up for me and continuing to open it up for me so look at my life as an example anybody out there watching uh, needing encouragement when it comes to their mental health uh, look at mine, you know, I'm not where I want to be, but thank God I'm nowhere where I used to be. And so if you keep going, like I say, persevere on, and no matter what hardship comes your way, you know, any type of mental anguish, you know, just know that this too shall pass. It does not last long. And so uh, I want to close this out, uh, or not close it out just yet, but move on from the topic uh, and it's another one. But if you like what I'm talking about in regards to, you know, mental health, wellness, especially in the black community, you can do so by showing me, uh, by hitting that like, share, and the comment uh, button. 
I'm definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate it, you guys. And don't forget, you can check me out on my website, dippersworld.net, and I, you can check out all my other social media handles, my Facebook, Instagram, my Twitter, as well as TikTok. I'm on TikTok now, y'all. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so, um, you gotta figure out how to, you know, work around that. I'm not really a TikToker, but, you know, it is what it is. And so, check me out there, as well as, don't forget, you can go, again, to my website, dippersworld.net, and booking for any type of motivational speaking events you'd like for me to be a part of. I am free of charge as of now, as well as, don't forget, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, should be popping up right here, right? Right on my shoulder, look at my head. <laughs> uh, you can go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy. Again, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversation about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustration. So again, be advised that it's intended for a mature audience. And so you cannot take this type of heat. Still come on to the kitchen. Why? Because that's the point of it. You know, get the ball rolling and having these conversations that need to be had. Not just about pissing people off or pointing fingers and playing the game. Playing game. It's more so about unity, coming together, taking accountability and acknowledgement and creating systemic change instead of systemic racism. And so again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Ship. Yeah? All right, guys, so moving right along with the gravy chain. Let's see what else we got going on in Difference World. Tomorrow uh, is Wednesdays, and so I should be dropping a podcast interview. I think what I'm going to do is drop my interview I did with uh, 90.9 uh, FMK TSU Radio I did a while back. Um, and so be on the lookout for that, you guys, tomorrow. That's why you gotta hit that notification button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and definitely, uh, when you guys get those notifications, you come into Different World and you come and learn about what's going on in the world. So, uh, big shout out to, uh, Hello Black Man for having me on this podcast. Uh, yesterday I had a really good time, so be on the lookout for that. I'll be dropping that soon afterwards. Uh, what else we got going on, you guys? Uh, lots and lots and lots. That's why you just got to come to Difference World and come and learn. Uh, lastly, before we get out of here, we definitely in time, in time to our, our vlog for today, doing a mental health check. And this is not just for, you know, people of culture, but this is for everybody listening and watching, going through any type of mental anguish, be it depression, feeling suicidal, being bullied, you know, anxieties, whatever the mental case may be, please know. It's okay to not be okay, but do not sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go talk with a therapist, a family member, a friend. Go pick up a hobby. Go mend broken bridges. Cut people off who mean you know well. Go get your physical, mental, spiritual, financial health in check. Go do all that. Go do whatever it is that you have to do to keep yourself from going off the deep end or possibly taking anybody with you. If you know anybody that needs these resources or you yourself may need it, please feel free to share it. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can text 988 or you can text 741741. For those that would prefer, you can go online to uh, 988lifeline.org or you can go to mentalhealthishealth.us. Also, uh, you can go to NAMI or the National Alliance of Mental Illness dot org or it's n-a-i-n dot org excuse me n-a-m-i dot org uh and just remember again you are the captain of your own ship so do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you also uh, again just don't remember that it's, it's okay to not be okay but do not sit there and not be okay go get help whatever the case may be um with that being said you guys we're gonna move it on out get on out of here and close out this vlog Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It should be popping up on my little uh, logo here. So definitely hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate you guys. And don't forget, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. Then it will surely come to you all. If it's well, come and learn. Peace. What is? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship?
What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial death and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.